Hi guys, you're welcome to our channel. Yes, we are live in Ogbete main market this morning. Yes, it's been a long time. I actually followed, let me use the word in quote, a woman to the market. But today, I'll be joining my wife to Ogbete main market because when you follow a woman to the market, or when I follow my wife to the market, you know that that whole day, you know what you're expecting, guys. So, as from a guy's perspective, we're going to be touring the market today, getting some food stuff. So, so let's carry you guys along. Uh, if you are new on our channel, you are welcome to Alien vs Food. Please do well to click the subscribe button, turn on notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload awesome videos. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much. We appreciate your sincere love for our channel. Thank you, thank you very much. And do well to also give us your thoughts in the comment section. Let us know what you think of this video at the end of it. And do well to also like the video. Yes, Enugu State is one state that has market all over the place abakwa market is also a very big market a lot of market in in every area the mayor market is there artisan market is there even the new artisan the mini market as well so getting food stuff in enugu is one of the easiest things that can ever happen to you you don't need to trek too far from your area to get uh food stuff or provision in enugu state but then obwete main market stands out because you can literally get everything you are looking for in obwete main market just name it electronics everything is there so other markets you can see full stuff you might not see electronics you might see one other thing you might not see the other but in Ogbete, everything is available in Ogbete main market so that's why we decided to come here today because we're doing a lot of buying we're doing some bulk buying so and we didn't want to be gambling around other markets so you saw us when we entered the car park the car park of a way to be market is big but still not enough for vehicles so they even had to devise a medium by which you have to park and block somebody you keep your keys with the security personnel they give you a number a tag so when you are coming back you release your tag and give your car key then you zoom off they can always help you repark if anybody you are blocking is going out so the park is big but then it's still not enough for um um, enough for cars people come into the market to park and they have a separate side for trailers and those doing offloading from the park where you park and you receive your goods and you zoom off for just those who are coming to shop in the market so we are currently inside the market uh so we're going to be taking it lane by lane we're currently along the full stop path and there's where we call aquata as well inside this market is where you get some good tomatoes to buy so we're currently in the full stop path full stop is literally cheap in the beauty and uh, i'll try to cheap but for meat i think i won't give it to beauty i think i will still go back to my new to my artisan markets to buy meat i think i i enjoy their meat over there and that's where they have quite a number of good rooms that you can get some good sea seafood as well so i think for meat and fish and all of those seafood i give it to artisan markets not to beauty but other things beauty is is cool but for tomato all of those other provisions you can think about but the main market is the go-to for me the market is quite very big like i've said before the food stuff market is there the electronic market is there uh, the clothing line is also there they have also drug line you know when you talk about Ubuogu. Uh, hey, so Bogu is here, but in the nature, I know they also have a drug market. So Enugu has their drug market called Ogbete Drug Market. So they also have it inside Ogbete main market. So there's also a drug market in Ogbete. So people also come there to buy drugs. People come there with their prescriptions to also get their medication. So that's how big the market is. So everything you are looking for, you can find. Even people who do act as well are in the market as well so and few restaurants here and there for people to eat for those who have shops also available in the market so this is one market that i am so used to the look and cranny of because i entered i entered the market way back as a 2015 it's almost on literally basic or had business i was transacting inside and uh, i was coming alone so my movement around the market was very swift very fast so i just come do my thing and i'm out but now that i'm moving around with a woman so my fellow guys if you are watching this video let me know if you are thinking like me or if you are having the same experience as me if i follow my mom to the market just be rest assured that they can price a particular item in five places or three places comparing price is very good but there sometimes i just feel what is all of these delays for and the same thing i'm seeing in my wife so i think uh, it's peculiar with women they always uh, compare prices and uh, 
before they decide on what they are buying so that alone can kill your time you can spend 15 minutes comparing prices five shops before you take a final decision on which of the shops you are going to buy your product you know so that alone wastes time a lot so today this vlog i'm sure you guys are seeing now we spent more than six hours inside this market in this video we've compressed into these minutes now we spent more than six hours inside of this market moving from shops to shop comparing prices for every single thing like man i was fucked that you can see her already already asking question so uh and and and, and not just that in the way market what i also observed with them is that the way barrier in the way market is quite very much like for every step you take you just be hearing uzo 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 like uzo ah they will so push you out of the way that you have to be if you are not careful they can just run over you so rubaros are so much though in 2015 2016 there were some lanes we borrow don't pass that we usually just use so that those lanes are faster but now i think they are literally everywhere so i don't know if you are still very familiar with the way market and there are still lanes like that let us know in the comment section because i think for every corner as i passed i literally saw um wheelbarrow telling me uzo 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 in virtually all the places i walked past in this market so if you are based in enugu or you have visited enugu before i visited the way market also do let us know in the comment section so if you are based in enugu, let me know is the way to market the best place for you to shop also let me know for me it is stressful to go to a except the item i'm looking for i can only find it in a way you know it's difficult for me because one is far from my house two it's stressful for you get a space to park and i start entering with the traffic you encounter you know so as i watch this video now you're going to see us uh towards holy go driving out you see that the traffic around there also was also very 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 crazy we had to spend some time around the traffic you know so that is just some disadvantage on why i don't really enjoy coming to wait in the market but as for that if there are items you are looking for that you can't find anywhere you can actually give a try um you can actually try out to wait in market and see so we are currently along the cosmetics line where you also get um your baby stuffs you know your pampas all of their creams are available in this cosmetics line as well so that is where we are currently so i just taking it one step at a time we'll soon go and buy plates go and buy a whole lot of other things and uh, like i said i'm really really getting tired because as at this point uh, the worker around this market was really really getting tired so if you are still with us on this vlog and you are not yet a subscriber please do well to click the subscribe button turn on notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we upload new video and if you are already subscribed thank you for staying with us and please do not forget to give us your thoughts in the comment section let's know what you think of this market as you are watching it let us also help us like this video and like i said if you are in enugu and if this is the market your go-to market in terms of shopping also do let us know in the comment section or if you have alternative market that you shop that is easy to assess also do recommend for us who are based in Enugu in the comment section so we left cosmetic line now to where we are going to buy rice and uh, you can see the woman already giving us the various prices of rice and telling us the difference you know here you can see she's showing me already in the camera because i told her i'm going to vlog this thing because today she made up her mind to stress me so that's why she's showing me the different type of rice so we're going to battle buy rice now so from here we'll proceed to the next point so guys i hope you are finding my story very interesting around the waiting market you know when a man goes to the market eh, <laughs> with a woman you can literally complain all day you can literally complain all day because every single thing they are pricing they are negotiating they are you know it's very 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 tiring sometimes another interesting thing about this market for those who have shops um lights i think their lightning system in the market is quite cool though um sometimes no light of course and their generating system their generators they use generators as well is on top of the building they see where they build the market such that on top of the building all of their generators are there so they just have this ladder they use in climbing up 
to the roof part just to turn on their generator once the light goes off and one thing i love so much about the drug section of this market is the fact that you would experience sun and the place is so lit even the the walkway is covered with uh, with a light uh, um, i think it's a pvc a light something that lights can penetrate through i'm trying to look for the word of that um, ceiling system they use there and it's so beautiful so you won't even experience it and all, all the water outlet is channeled to one direction you just see it pouring out from a particular outlet so you would experience rain beating you sun touching you when you are around the drug the drug line so that is very beautiful around the drug line so i think maybe because water can perish are good so maybe that's why that session is well done and you will see some fans you will see some lines they will put tv with matches on you can even chill in the market and watch football watch all your games you know so it's interesting around the drug line i think that is very impressive so there when i was entering the market very well sometimes we were tired we have a friend in drug line we just sit down there watch football before we step out of the market if it's an early match so we are currently along the yeah, the circulars plates gas so that is the lane we have found ourselves now so you can see plates and gas everywhere you saw that we priced one plate before somewhere she's not satisfied we are here now to price again so that's how we are going to be doing it today to we'll get the perfect one that we are looking for so in all of this movement we have a wheelbarrow guy who is just following us i don't want to put his face on camera so and there are also these um small, small children that also also follows you around the market whenever you have bulky things to carry they just keep telling you ah sister brother she's gonna help you carry she's gonna help you carry so if they help you carry willingly they will not bill you whatever you have you just give to them they will help you carry your goods out of the market so i enjoy using them a lot instead of the wheelbarrow because they are faster when you are leaving the market than the wheelbarrow guys because it's leg movement obviously so wheelbarrow will have some constraints because even the wheelbarrows inside the market sometimes often have <laughs> go slow because once they are stuck in one place maybe those coming those going get stuck in one place so they'll be navigating how to come out because the load they are carrying will be so much more than themselves so so wheelbarrow can actually get uh, stuck sometimes in uh in the market so using those small boys who is willing to carry your goods for you i think they are it's far better for them but if the load is so heavy i just decide to use wheelbarrow so we are done from the plate line so still taking it down i don't know where next we are going to so i'm following her lead so let's keep going down so if you are still watching don't forget to subscribe like i've always said we are trying to grow this channel we are trying to to make it come up so be a part of this journey with us and um, and uh, also help us share the channel to your loved ones in different platforms for those who are based in Enugu for those who are planning to relocate to Enugu help us share this channel as well so your loved ones can also join our big family and give us the massive support that you are giving to us so we are currently um, approaching the drug line yeah another beautiful thing about the market is that you can get fruits very cheap in Obete. Yeah, very very cheap. Like fruits are very cheap in Obete. You know, my my only thing is that I prefer to buy fruits like pineapple, um, apple in Obete. But the likes of berry and co, I don't always enjoy buying it there. Except the guy, the person is just coming because you know those ones needs to be needs to be in the fridge. You know, but for others they are pretty pretty very easy to buy around Obete. now we are out of the market so time to go we have come out of the car park and as you can see you now i told you earlier that the traffic around this region is one thing that so much discouraged me from coming so you can see that we are already experiencing traffic around this region i know you'll be wondering what are these people gathering so it's bending and select you know the guy chanting his thing and <laughs> telling them the advantages in thrift so that's what he's actually selling think his shoes his shoes is selling so chanting his thing hailing the goose and people are gathering to pick their choice that is what is currently happening around that cycle so people still shade along the line um when you are driving around uh, Ogbe, especially when you are going towards Holy Ghost, I think uh, 
much work still needs to be done by the state government because i think people shooting along this line is contributing to the traffic we are experiencing along this part in Ubeite. yes because if you are not shading and the bus drivers are well coordinated i believe the area will be free because Enugu is not such a busy town that should be experiencing gridlock around this region you know so Ubeite is the i think Ubeite axis is the only axis in Enugu that you find serious traffic except evening hours in Nabakpa uh, or even the uh, uh, what's it called Gariki doesn't really give so much traffic again the road is dualized so I think it's only about maybe at night so the reason for this traffic people shading along the road and it's not even safe you know god forbid any incident a driver failing brake or something to be so disastrous around this region so I think the state government can also step in to see how these people can get into the market proper or possibly subsidize the shop you know a lot of the shops are expensive in a way to no doubt but i think some shops depending on the position you are yearly payment is 150 some 200 some 250 yearly that they pay for shops so i know so much about the drug line especially that a lot of shops around there the cheapest you can get maybe 150 so depending on the location so if it's on site or if it's in the main walkway yeah you get 200 250 or 300 as the case maybe so these people selling with full barrel that's the way they can take them a little bit into the market so that uh, i don't get to be shading along the road i know there was a time they were actually enforcing this but then you know people will always resist and they are back on the road again and they are all with wheelbarrow and you know any little mistake you make as a driver touching wheelbarrow the impact will be on your car and you might pour away their goods and you have to pay them so one just has to be extremely careful so as you can see self the day is getting a little bit the evening is already going because we spent so much time inside the market like so much time so i forgot to mention at the beginning of this vlog to park in obeti park is 150 you pay you pay that money when you are driving out so there's an entering gate when you drive in just uh, before the prison so obeti market is also very close to prison you stay prison so before you drive you drive in they give you a tally you park your vehicle if you are blocking somebody they also give you a small tally that you hold for blocking somebody then when you are driving out you will be you remit the bigger tally that they gave to you at the gates and you pay your 150 and your receipt is generated for you so that is it we are almost at holy ghost now so this part we are passing now where they are shading along the road you can easily get foam phones along that part you know the, the phone shops are closer to this axis of uh, holy ghost than entering through the prison side so but because of parking you have to still go to the prison side to park you know so that is it and um, in the holy ghost in, in enugu where we have the way to market you find majority of these commercial parks around around this axis so guys i think i've given you a good and detailed tour of this market so let me know what you think in the comment section give me your thoughts in the comment section also help us like this video and also do help us share the video and um, if you are not yet subscribed please i don't know what you're waiting for please do well to click the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you always get notified when we upload new videos and for returning subscribers we do really 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 appreciate you we thank you so much for your support thank you very much so please give us your comments in the comment section and if you are from Enugu state please don't forget to rep the location if you've ever shopped in Obeti don't forget to rep your location as well in the comment section and just to mention we are open for recommendations for video recommendations recommend what you love us to upload on alain versus food and we'll be more than glad to bring it for you and don't forget our awesome recipes are also there you can do well to check them out on our video catalog especially our kids uh, lunch pack video you can check them out for kids lunch ideas Thank you very much, guys. We really, really do appreciate you for joining us on this vlog. We'll catch you in our next video. Bye.